Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Cave Story. Um, in the last episode, what did we do? Um, wait, yeah, okay, we did, we beat the, um, Omega boss. <coughs> um, so after much extensive research on that fourth ending, I found out it was fake. Well, actually, I didn't research, um, my buddy did. I had him look it up for me, because... He kept on trying to tell me that it wasn't real, and I was like, really? Because I kind of wanted it to be real. Yeah, but he... At first, he looked through all the things that were saying it was a fourth ending, and he found out that it wasn't actually a fourth ending, it was a mod. <laughs> so that kind of sucks, because... One second. That fourth ending actually allowed you to save Turricon King, but it's not real. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh yeah, I already read this. For some reason I was reading it again like it was the first time. One second. Oh, I've been really sick. <laughs> really don't care. Yeah, but, um, the fourth ending was like, yeah, you saved Toroko and King, and it kind of takes off the, um, true ending, which I am going to be getting on this playthrough. <laughs> so now there's only three endings, so that's probably going to be, like, the title of the video I was lied to. Yeah, I actually really wanted to believe it, too, because I wanted to believe, yeah, that'd be really cool, because... King was number one. Yeah, but, um, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, but it actually started around here. If you, um, I may, this may actually be wrong. I mean, it may actually be true. Like, if there may be a fourth ending, but I'm not too sure, because I had my friend do some research on it. He said it wasn't real, so I want to try to believe him, but the guy said it was real, and he said he'd post a video of him downloading the trip, the actual original cave story and showing how he got it, but who knows? He could have already had it modded. Murder these guys. <laughs> yeah, but one of the requirements of the um ending was to get through pretty much the first cave. Actually, remember where where Toroko got captured all the way to um Where you meet Curly in. God dang it, dog. Um. In the. This cave story, Cave Story Plus, 14 minutes. But in the original, it was like. God dang it. Um. 17 minutes. And some people say they did it, some people say they didn't. How do you. I forgot how to stop this dog.
Got him. Yeah, but um, after you break the thing, remember how we couldn't help Curly? Well, in this ending, you do get to help her. You like save her. But in the other ending, um, Professor Booster doesn't die at that point. Remember the cure all we got? Well, one second. If you got the fourth ending, um, in the true ending, you wouldn't actually have fought Curly. You would have went through that little, um, you went through Secret Passage and got to her place first. So, um, you wouldn't have actually, um, fought Curly because she walks in. She's like, are you trying to hurt them? And then the Colin's like, no, he was just here and stuff. Actually, I'm going to save I don't trust this game anymore. But, um, yeah, after that, you don't fight her. And then when she gets teleported to the labyrinth, instead of giving her the cure-all, she's, like, perfectly fine. She goes off to that little rock thing by herself. Really? But, um, instead, you jump down to where Professor Booster was, and you, what's it called? Um, you give him the cure-all and that teleporter down there he'll fix it and you go tell Curly to come along Everything and it's all better And then you just go back and he like fix it to go to the plantation and everything and that's how you get back there I'm getting hurt pretty badly on this. Yeah, so I don't know how I'm gonna get far, get to the end of this game, because I'm doing terrible already. <laughs> I mean, I'm just not really good at this game. I mean, I want to get the true ending, but that'll require me fighting the actual last boss, the special boss, you could say. I'm not sure if I'm able to do that. That's just. I went back and I watched Deceased Crabs Let's Play of it. Well, I didn't actually watch all of it. <laughs> I issued some references. Like, I looked back on it, checked, and see if. What he did to get, like, the true ending. Because I always forget where the mushroom is, and you'll see him later. So, I do want to save. Actually, I forgot about this. Uh-huh. There it is. Ah, dang it, um. Walk around here and get this dog. Yes. <laughs> Almost through the sand zone. Yeah, the last dog I couldn't find in the last game was the one all the way in the, um back right near the warehouse which is really stupid I find that really stupid destroy these guys <laughs> there should be a lot of muting in this episode I mean I really shouldn't be doing this but I really wanted to but I got a really bad cough So I got one more to go, and that one's all the way on the other side of the place. Actually, I really didn't have to record all this part. One second again. Crap. I didn't hit the mute button, so um, that may be in there. I may actually cut that part out, because that's just... That sounded really bad. trying to think of what else I was going to say about the fourth ending. Yeah, I had my buddy, Chris. I had him go on. He typed it in everything on Google. He looked around. He searched. This guy actually posted it on forums. Which I can't believe I didn't notice. But, um, 
he posted, yeah, I made a mod. This is going to be my first mod of it. And I was like, really? Buddy Chris told me that. He went on. He went to Cave Editor. He looked through it all. He said there wasn't a fourth ending, which kind of made me mad. Because the guy, like, he said, man, it's real. And ha he had other people. Well, not really other people believing him. I was kind of a sucker for it. So I just wanted it to be real. Because it just sounded really cool having Toriko and King stay alive instead of having to die. Uh-huh. Here comes the third part. <laughs> My one hateful part about this, well, hated part about this, just the sand zone, is that you have to go here and then you have to go back. And you have to go here again. I mean, it's, if they would've just, like, had you get the dog and then Balrog gets in, how did I get hit there? If they, if they would've had, um, instead of going back to Janka and, um, You not giving her the dog, and then Balrog comes in. I mean, that's kind of a good story plot, but I wish Balrog would have just went in there. Like, he would have already went to Janka, and then after you fought him, and you came back after you came out of the labyrinth, she would have explained it to you. That would have saved some time and made it really helpful. Yeah, you know, I may cut it before I get to the boss fight and actually go get me something to drink. Man, I really hate my home button. I mean, I'm gonna hate it throughout all of this just because it just turns off wraps. I may have to... Wait, I don't know what I'm saying. I was supposed to say I may have to switch that, but I don't think you can. But, um... Yeah, as I was saying, I'm probably just gonna go get, like, a drink. <laughs> my throat's been killing me. It's not really my throat. It's kind of like me coughing. See, um, in the fourth ending, this was the dog you're supposed to get and everything. You're supposed to take this to, um inside the warehouse and he like barks and then Toriko doesn't eat the flowers and everything <laughs> cause something about this like a, be a beautiful dog belongs to Jenka this one dreams the days away with long long naps that's it well he did lie to me then because um <laughs> he said actually like it said like it has dreams about like the future so it saw like Toriko and King dying so it actually went there. What is this? I actually thought that was something. Well, now I have to fight this guy. Hit him with fireballs. Yeah, I even watched a speed run of this guy getting through the whole game in like 14 minutes. <laughs> I found that just crazy how he did that. I mean, he ran through it all. Which is amazing. Like, he used all, like, these... Well, there weren't really glitches. I mean, they were in the game. Yeah, but he killed Igor with the, um... With, like, a minute in a minute. He killed Balfrog with the fire thing. And that was, that's the part I found amazing, because I hated Balfrog. He just, like, blew through her in, like, I think it was two minutes. <laughs> like, he did it all with, like, six health. And there Balrog goes. <laughs> you know what? I want to see this anyway. Jenkins, you're not going to be needing this dog. I'm going to take him. <laughs> I'm going to keep this dog with me. One second. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... I just feel really bad right now. I may even do an evil genius after this. But I just need something to drink really badly. That'll probably clear up my throat better so I can get through at least a video without dying. Oh yeah, I get this inbox message from some guy. And at the start I was thinking like maybe this is actually a comment, a personal message for where I said, hey, some people send me messages, I'll do the other two endings. Watch the other ending. But if they would have watched the next video, they would have found that out. But actually it was some guy being like, hey, you did some great vids, man. I'm not even sure if this was like an actual guy. I'm not sure about this, because he may have just been some random guy. It's just like, hey, 
It's like, I'm gonna copy and send this to like seven people. Because it even said at the bottom, like, sent to blah, blah, blah. He's like, hey, you should use this. You'll get like tons of subscribers. My buddy, blah, used it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna follow this link. I'm not gonna use it because I don't really care. I mean, people are like, yeah, you should get like a whole bunch of subscribers. But I'm not gonna do it that way to where I'm like, hey, yeah, if I subscribe to these guys, then other people are gonna subscribe to me. I find that really stupid. I think people should subscribe to people who have videos they like. I mean, if you look at my subscriptions, I think it's there. On the bottom of my home channel page, there's like 130 people there. I want you all just to know, I did watch at least one of the videos from every one of them, and I did like them. I mean, some of them are even canceled now. Like, some people, like, stopped recording, and I just didn't feel like unsubscribing to them, because I did like their videos. Like, Trash Nari, that was one of the people I subscribed to, like, a long time ago. I liked his video. He stopped recording for, like, one to two months. Well, I think it was, like, six months, maybe. It may have been. It may have been, like, shorter or longer. I'm not really sure of how long it was. But then he finally made another video. Like, he's been making, like, a couple videos. And I was really happy about that. So, what if other people who said they quit start making videos again? And I'm going to miss their stuff. So, that's why I really don't unsubscribe to people that much. Really? Yeah. Really? I'm actually just going to pause it right here. Go get me something to drink and I'll be at the warehouse.